Hello, I'm Dr. Matt Cap from Capitalize Education and in this series of videos we're going to explore how to implement the Capitalize Education model yeah. for implementing universal design for learning within classrooms. In this video we're going to explore the first two steps in the process. A fundamental pillar of universal design for learning is the idea that the learning goal taken from the approved curriculum is not tied to a specific way of demonstrating it unless it's explicitly named within the curriculum. A great thing about the Australian curriculum from prep to year 10 is often it doesn't explicitly state how a student demonstrates the achievement standards. The first step in implementing universal design for learning within the capitalized education model is for teachers to sit with the content descriptors from the Australian curriculum that they teach and model and the achievement standards that students are required to demonstrate and they're required to deconstruct them. To do that, we deconstruct them by identifying the cognitive verbs in both the content descriptors and achievement standards and defining them using the ACARA glossaries. We also identify any key terminology and define those using the ACARA glossaries. When we do this, teachers don't do it individually, but they do it collaboratively because when teachers work individually, they add all their preconceived notions of education to the process. When they work collaboratively, this gives teachers an opportunity to be challenged in their thinking. The next step in the process of implementing universal design for learning within classrooms is for teachers to sit with the de deconstructed content descriptors and deconstructed achievement standards and start to flesh out a process for not only teaching the content descriptors but also a framework for allowing students to demonstrate the achievement standards. This initial draft framework is the bare bones of what teachers will use within the classroom. It needs to be adjusted and refined based on the strength and barriers of the students within their classroom, but it gives the teachers a framework to start with. In this example, because one of the glossary terms is analyze, analyze is not a teal paragraph or a paragraph arguing a point is actually the process of breaking down information, identifying connections between that information, identifying similarities and differences. So a great evidence-based strategy for doing this is mind mapping and Venn diagrams. The last cognitive verb that students need to do is explanation or explaining and so a simple way to do this is using tables. Students don't need to write paragraphs, write essays, they simply use dot points but by coming back to what the content descriptors explicitly require teachers to model and scaffold for their students and deconstructing the achievement standards, teachers can set up frameworks for students to provide evidence of this learning against the achievement standards, as well as setting up frameworks that they can use to model and scaffold the skills. In the next video, we're gonna look at how teachers can identify the strengths and functional impacts of all their students within their classroom, so they can then take this bare bones framework and start to flesh it out for the students within their classroom.